Guys, they said only a few first shed tears as Queen Naomi rejected his offer of moving into the royal mansion with her. You know that they said ever since uh, Queen Naomi left the palace this last time, that Kabiesi have been begging and begging and begging and begging. You know, uh, and from what we're hearing, they said Queen Naomi have moved into the royal mansion, the mansion in Leki. And from there, she is processing for her divorce because right now she is very, very serious from what we are hearing about her freedom, such that they have involved a whole lot of people. You know, a lot of people are ready to help her to get the freedom that she deserves, which she deserves to be free. Because KBS is not telling her the truth. KBS is not being truthful to her. You know, KBS wants to force her into accepting polygamy because that is what it is and one thing that uh, is so disturbing is that Queen Naomi at first did not prepare for this polygamy but at some point he adjusted into uh, being on her lane while Kabiesi and his wives would be on their lane but one person that she hates with passion happens to be Olori Ashley and this is because of what Ashley did to her back then in the palace. And for KBSC to be working with Ashley, you know, behind her back, uh, it simply means that KBSC really want to... Is, KBSC would, would hurt her, let me put it that way. You know, because I don't see the reason why after finding out everything that Olori Ashley did to Queen Naomi in the palace... You still go ahead with Ashley, you know, doing your thing with her as if nothing happened. And yet you still come back to Queen Naomi and pretend as if nothing happened. They said, uh, Queen Naomi told Kabiesi that, look, I am not doing again. And when Kabiesi even promised her that, look, if you want me to move into the royal mansion with you, just you and I, and I will still be doing my... Uh, uh, or bad duties and all of that, Queen Naomi said no, that that is not going to happen because people will call her bad names, you know, because she get as to be now. How can a big Oba like you, you will move to Lagos to go and be, be staying there permanently just because of a woman, you know? That there are people who call Queen Naomi bad woman, they will call her names. And not only that, we all know that that royal mansion, even without Kabiesi and Queen Naomi being there, just there, as in uh, the wives are always coming there. Only recently we even heard that Ashley went there to go and see Kabiesi and all of that, you know. So they will always be coming there, and this is one thing that Queen Naomi does not want. He, she doesn't want to be involved in this polygamy stuff. And Kabiesi is trying everything within his power to push this young lady into accepting polygamy. Polygamy is nobody's met. Let, let me tell you, if you want to involve yourself in polygamy, you will take the church, church mind as in the good heart of you. You will go and imprison it somewhere. I'm telling you, because even if you want to be a good person, the other beast that you are associating as uh, your co-polygamist them, they will bring out the beast in you. It will make you to forget that there is God. Because someone that is worshipping God will always want to do something that will give God happiness and they make God happy. And then in turn, God will bless him or uh, her. But when you, when you start involving yourself into polygamy, this is when these people will go as far as buying babies in the womb so that they will hurt you, so that you will not come and be mother and they are not, and all of that. And this is the kind of life that this young lady does not want. Then Kabiesi let her go. No. Why? Why? Is she... I don't even know what to say. Even though she is more beautiful than all of these six wives, at least the six wife will do you. If it is about Krewa, they can give it to you any, any how, any style. Eh? What is that? Although a lot of people are saying that the reason why Kabiesi don't want to leave Queen Naomi is because Kabiesi is using Queen Naomi to shine. That is what a lot of people are saying. That the reason is because there is this spiritual bond that is binding the two of them. And with that oath that they took under the tree in Odua Sacred Forest, I don't know if you remember about the story, that if 
Naomi leaves that KBS is going to suffer. Eh? Okay, let them go and uh, kind of redo it now. KBC will not accept because uh, Queen Naomi is kind of shielding her, shielding him from all the attacks and everything. A lot of people have said it time without number that if Queen Naomi leaves KBC at that throne, he will not last there. But does this simply mean that Queen Naomi will have to guide the throne with her life? Does it mean that Queen Naomi will pay f with her life for accepting to marry KBC? Hmm? Because this is getting out of hand, though. Seriously, it is. I don't know why these people will keep being like this. I think the best thing KBC should do is to let Queen Naomi go. Moving in or out of the royal mansion with Queen Naomi cannot change anything. Because even if they, even if he moves in there, uh, the Oloris will still be coming there to disturb Queen Naomi. And Queen Naomi needs to move on with her life, seriously. Because with this thing KBS is doing, he just wants to purposely tie Queen Naomi down. I don't know. It's unfair. Oh. It's unfair because I believe that if any man does this to Princess uh, Adiola, or this uh, Adewa Mewa, he will not be happy with it. So, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Seriously. The Sekwenami told him that there is no how it is going to work. That you are not moving in, into the royal mansion with me. You have to go back to your, to, uh, your palace and live with your women. Your harem of women because that is what you wanted. It is obvious that, uh, will I say, is a mistake getting married to you because with everything you have promised me, you did not keep not even one of them. So, when I hear this, I said, now, nah, wow, Kabi is leave Queen Naomi alone. No, marriage is not by force. It's not by force. Whether you want to move into the royal mansion with her or not, Kabi is Queen Naomi said no. And she have the right to choose the path to tread as a person and she have chosen not to be involved in polygamy so since you cherish polygamy too much you want to be you are not even want to be you are a proud polygamist like your edoche your said he's a proud polygamist <laughs> queen naomi doesn't want to be a proud polygamist so avoid her let her go let her live her life in peace she don't want to live a life of competition a life of involving in juju and all of that because that's what they do best. Anyway, guys, when I hear this, I say I should come and share with you. Tell me what you think about it on the comment section. Don't forget that these are all alleged information, okay? Always bear that in mind. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and share my video. I love you guys. Bye. See you.